Well, little bunny, I know it's not the roomiest place in there, but don't worry. We're almost there. You've been so calm and patient there. It's got to be pretty impressive. I don't think I'd be able to handle being tucked in someone else's stomach for this long. I'd probably go insane, but here you are, taking it like a champ. <laughs> I can tell you're eager to finally get out and stretch a bit. I can't wait to show you my den. It's very nice and cozy. It's got to out more than my stomach is, for sure. And it's perhaps the safest place in the forest for you. Still, I can't help but feel a bit guilty as if I pulled you into this mess. I don't know. I guess I've just been turn it over on my mind, and I can't just shake the feeling that. I've led you to this dangerous position, always having to hide, always having to live in fear. Should I have just let you scamper off in the village? It's just something I can't stop thinking about. But I just didn't have the heart to let you go, and I had the chance. Oh, yeah. I know you often didn't want to go back, but still. It seems like it may have been better for you. I mean, money should be free to roam around and play, but I gotta step with me. And oh, but I look forward to all the stuff we're to do together. It's just <sighs> maybe you're right, Bunny. I did promise like you'd be safe, and of course I'll do everything to ensure that it happens. And I've always been a wolf of my word. That too. It did feel as if we both needed each other in that moment. Mm. I still can't believe this all happened because it's been that crazy wolf's trap. I'm still relieved you were there at the time. I've been her finding out that she caught me in that trip. It'd be worse than any putter to find me, that's for sure. No, I'm not kidding. She'd have never let me get the end of it. I've been pretty humiliating. Here we are. We're finally here, dear bunny. Thank goodness, too, because I'm so exhausted. Just a moment, Bunny. I know this may seem selfish, but I don't want to let you out just yet. Forget how messy this place was, and I think I prefer if you didn't see it in this state. I want to want you to have a bad first impression of this place, especially since it will be your new home, after all. Oh, man. I know I had so much stuff. Oops. Oh, man. I gotta clean that up as well. By the way, Bunny, I don't think we formally introduced ourselves to each other yet. Well, I'm Evelyn. But you could just call me Evie if you'd like. And what's your name? Uh, such a cute name for such an adorable little bunny. Well, it looks like I'm just about done. Are you ready to come out now, dear? Okay, then. Here goes nothing. Oh, man. That's still not very pleasant. But it is nice to see you again, Bunny. So, uh, welcome in my den. Oh, yeah. I changed my clothes. I didn't want to have to change in front of you, but I just had to get something cozier on. I hope you're not too uncomfortable with this. I know it may be a little revealing, but, uh... Huh? You don't mind? Well, that's a relief. But remember, if you ever find something's bothering you, you know you can always tell me, right? Good. Now, I hate to do this, 
What type of that little ordeal you've been through? You know, being in my stomach for so long and all. I think you're in need for a serious scrub down, because you're looking just a tad bit rough on the edges, in your clothes. Oh man, they really reek. I'm definitely gonna have to wash those. Oh, please don't give me that look. I promise you it'll be quick, and you'll feel so much better once I'm done. Now, you may be a little small for my bathtub, so I think we should just use the sink for now. Here. Now, can you take those clothes off? Here. I won't look. Just take them off and get in the water. I'll turn around. I promise I'll wash them later, okay? So, how's the water? It's not too warm, is it? Hmm. Let's see. How's that? Good? Great. Now, this is my favorite soap, and it just works magic on my fur. I'm not too sure how it may work on a bunny, but I think it's worth a shot. If I'm right, it should leave you smelling quite delightful. Oh, and you should let me know what you think of this brand. I can always mix it up for you, if you're not a fan of this one. Oh, just look at you. You look so cute with all those bubbles around you. And those tiny little splashes you make. I don't think I could handle it. Ugh. Now I wish bath time to last forever. So, uh, Bunny. Oopsie. Sorry, dear. <laughs> I guess it has developed this little habit of calling you Bunny, and I guess it just sort of stuck. But I really like it. I kind of see it as a more uh, affectionate term at this point. And it just sort of rolls off the tongue pretty nicely. Don't you think? Although, I still never thought I'd ever be this close with a bunny. Be bathing him and sharing cute nicknames of him. What a wild ride today has been, right? Now, I know this place might not be much to you now, but I'm more than happy to do whatever you want to make this place feel more at home for you. I would find some new toys or redecorating certain areas of the den. I'm all ears. This place is yours now, after all. So just name it, and I'll do my best to make it happen. I know this adjustment may take from getting used to, but you can always count on me to help you get through this. So, have you thought of any fun things you may want to do together here? Like cuddle up, watch a movie, listen to some music? could also read either bedtime stories or maybe... Oh, what about a game night? We should totally have one of those. Do you know of any games? Hmm. Now I can't say I heard of that one. Can you explain it a little more? Interesting. You know... That's kind of similar to something I used to play with my daughters. Although it's not exactly like that. It definitely reminds me of it. It sounds a little bit more confusing, though. But I'm curious now. Maybe you could teach me about how it works sometime later? Oh, I look forward to it. Now, Bunny, it looks like you're all nice and clean now. Let's get you all dried up. Hmm, almost done. Now for the finishing touch. We wouldn't want you catching a cold, now would we? There you are! Just as nice and fluffy as a cloud now. And you smell wonderful. It's hard to believe you met out there in the forest, isn't it? Now, I, uh, 
Well, I don't have any clothes for you. Just yet. But if you want, I could lend you one of my socks, maybe? Don't worry. It's clean. Sure, it may be a little hard to move in it, but, um, it's just until I clean your weather or stuff, okay? I can even try to make some new clothes for you. I've been meaning to do more knitting, although can't say I'm quite experienced with knitting clothes for bunnies, but I can get the hang of it. So, now that you're all freshened up, I imagine you must be pretty hungry, especially after a long day like today. And while I may not have the typical stuff you're probably used to eating, I'm happy to share some of the snacks I have, although I have a feeling some of my veggies might just be up your alley still. And tomorrow or so, I could probably go out and get some carrots or whatever it is you're more accustomed to. Here, why don't you give these a try and tell me what you think. I have plenty more of them. And here's some other stuff as well that I think you'll enjoy. Oh, Bunny. I appreciate your concern. I really do. But you don't need to worry about me. I'm not really that hungry anyway. I just want to make sure you're all taken care of. Uh, I think it's about time for bed now. I apologize. They don't have anywhere for you to sleep in just yet, but... Well, if you're okay with it, you can always sleep with me in my bed. I could always use a nice little cuddle bunny while I dripped off. And it's nice and cozy. And don't worry. I promise I won't crush you. Mm -hmm. Bunny, you seem a little disappointed. Do you not want to sleep there with me? It's okay if you don't. Hmm? Oh. You, you do? Oh, that's a relief. For a second, I was worried I was making things weird and... Actually, who am I kidding? It's already been in my stomach twice, so... This is probably nothing in comparison. Well, let's get you to bed then. Hmm, here we are. It's all nice and cozy. This is really a warmth... A warmth I haven't felt in years. Forgot how nice it felt being so close with someone. But it's quite pleasant. Hmm. You know, it fit really nicely in my arms. I'm not holding you too tightly, am I? Dude because I'm not sure how long it'll be until I let go of you. Lonnie, I hope you feel safe and happy here. This is your new home, after all. And don't worry. I will do everything in my power to make you feel welcomed here. Good night, dear. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to hit the like button, and if you want to see more, Please subscribe to the channel. I hope you have a lovely day. Mwah.